The new VK800SM turboprop engine project is becoming a key power unit for regional aircraft in Russia. However, before reaching this position, VK800 has had a long and winding history. In the 2000s, Russia initiated the creation of the VK800V, where V stands for helicopter, turboshaft version for the Russian helicopters Ansat and K226. In 2008, they started bench tests, but later shelved the project and equipped these helicopters with foreign engines. The VK800 engine project was developed by the St. Petersburg-based enterprise FJUP, Zavodyu Klimov. The original concept was created to replace the PW207K turboshaft engine, which had been used in Ansat helicopters until 2022. To develop the new engine, Klimov actively worked on the VK800 Vol from 2003 to 2007, preparing full documentation, designing a preliminary project, and creating a prototype engine, which successfully passed bench tests. In the 2010s, the VK800S, where S stands for aircraft, project emerged for the L410 passenger aircraft, which was being localized in the Urals, UZGA, and for the heavy UAV, LTUS, whose fate remains uncertain. By 2017, Russian engine manufacturers reported ongoing bench tests of the VK800S. Then, in 2018, the engine appeared under the designation VK800SM, now presented as a deeply modernized version of its predecessor. However, since then, only fragmentary information about its development has been published. The development of the VK800SM engine involved improving existing technical characteristics and developing new innovative technologies. One of the main goals was to reduce noise and vibration levels to make turboprop aircraft more comfortable for passengers. Extensive research and testing were conducted, resulting in significant improvements in this area. The VK800SM engine officially entered operation in 2022 and became a crucial component for regional turboprop aircraft. Thanks to its superior technical characteristics and innovative features, it has become the preferred choice for airlines aiming to provide maximum comfort and safety for their passengers. The decision to implement the VK800S project was a significant milestone for UZGA, made in the spring of 2018. The company initially began work on the power unit in 2008 using its own funds. At first, this project progressed on an initiative basis without much attention, but it later became a priority. Over the next 10 years, engine development was almost halted, and in search of an alternative for the ANSAT, the VK650 was considered for adaptation. However, development prospects changed when work on the new version, the VK800SM, for the LMS 901 Baikal aircraft began around 2018 to 2019. Yuziga, in partnership with LLC, Scientific and Production Center Lopatki, actively took on the project. Joint efforts by specialists from both companies led to the development of the engine for the LMS 901, incorporating innovative solutions. In September 2019, the Central Institute of Aviation Motors, CIM, approved the preliminary design of the VK800SM engine as the power unit for the aircraft, recommending the development of both twin-engine and single-engine versions of the LMS-901. UZG received the technical documentation for adapting the VK800SM to the Baikal, a crucial step in the project's implementation. The development of the VK800SM engine began with specialists from the St. Petersburg Engine Division, who had formerly worked at the now-closed branch of Pratt & Whitney, Russia. These experienced engineers analyzed the design documentation for the VK800S and concluded that a complete redesign of the engine was necessary for the Baikal aircraft. They successfully completed this task in a short time, creating the upgraded VK800SM version. UTSA developed the preliminary project for using the VK800SM on the Baikal aircraft and submitted it for review to CAM. However, additional work on technical documentation was required to adapt this engine fully to the Baikal. This documentation was transferred to UZGA in September 2019, allowing their team to begin the adaptation and integration process. Engineers and designers collaborated to develop the engine that meets the requirements and specifications for successful application in this aircraft. The transfer of this documentation to UZGA was a significant step 
toward realizing a new and efficient engine for the Baikal. The VK800SM is designed using advanced technologies. Its structure includes a compressor with a high-efficiency centrifugal stage, a single-stage turbine, and a two-stage free turbine. Recent studies mentioned in the publication, Krilia Rudini, highlight the importance of using a film-cooled combustion chamber in the VK800SM. This innovative approach significantly reduces cooling air consumption and greatly improves engine efficiency. Unique casting technologies for turbine blades from heat-resistant alloys also contribute to enhancing the engine's durability. The single-engine LMS901 Baikal places special emphasis on the engine's reliability as a power unit. This effort demonstrates the engineer's commitment to creating not only economical and efficient, but also highly reliable aircraft engines capable of ensuring safety and durability in operation. Since early 2023, Uzi and CM have been actively testing autonomous combustion chamber system of the VK800SM engine. The first prototype was placed on a test stand at the end of 2022, followed by intensive bench tests. Between January 15 and March 17, 2023, specialists conducted over 100 test runs, checking ignition from a single spark plug and adapting the combustion chamber to various operational altitudes. One of the primary goals of the tests was to confirm the calculated performance parameters of the combustion chamber. The results indicated that the chamber could function and ignite at altitudes up to 8,000 meters, exceeding technical requirements. The result opens new possibilities for using this power unit in various operational conditions. A crucial aspect of the testing was verifying the combustion chamber's ignition reliability under reduced electrical voltage. Experts from the UZGA and CIM did several tests and confirmed that the autonomous combustion chamber system worked well in these conditions, with ignition happening without any problems. The test results indicate the high functionality and reliability of the VK800SM combustion chamber system. This opens new opportunities for its application in aviation, where a reliable and efficient engine with high-performance characteristics is required for various operational environments. The Yak-40L Flying Laboratory at Sibnai A planned to conduct flight tests on the VK800SM by the end of 2023. However, neither Novosibirsk nor Yekaterinburg has provided any information regarding the start of these flight tests. These developments may indicate a possible delay in the certification timeline and the start of serial production of both the Baikal aircraft and the VK800SM engine. It is important to note that the first flight of the Baikal aircraft with the new engine was scheduled for the third quarter of 2024. However, given the lack of information on the start of flight tests, Doubts arise regarding this timeline. If certification and testing deadlines are postponed, it could negatively impact the plans for launching serial production of the aircraft, leading to delays in the release of the new model. As of 2025, the VK800SM is in progress and is planned for installation on the new light passenger aircraft LMS901 Baikal, one engine, the promising passenger aircraft LMS192 Osvi, two engines, and the UTS-800 trainer aircraft for the Russian Aerospace Forces, one engine. Based on various reports on the engine's development, it was stated in 2024 that VK-800SM certification is scheduled for 2025, with the first Baikal aircraft expected to begin flights with these Russian engines in 2026. There is also a high probability that the UTS-800 will fly with the VK-800SM in 2025. Some Russian media outlets and blogs have published unconfirmed reports that the first two prototype aircraft delivered to the Russian military at the end of 2024 were allegedly equipped with VK-800SM engines. However, military secrecy during the ongoing special military operation has likely prevented the official disclosure of the exact engine type. However, no concrete confirmation has been found. Reports in 2023 suggested that the production of a test batch of 10 to 12 engines was imminent. Some or all of them have likely already undergone construction and testing. At the same time, production plans for VK800SM were announced, stating that an average of 20 The VK800SM engine's versatility and future potential 
extend beyond the mentioned projects. All this makes the power unit a key component in the future of aviation development. Now, do you think VK800SM engine is also delayed? Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.